South Korean League of Legends LOL Esports Pro Kim, Klee Taemin of Hanwha Life Esports HLE, has been suspended from competitive play for one year amid allegations of sexual harassment. According to a report from South Korean news outlet Naver, on Monday, September 4, Klee has been banned from participating in the LOL Championship Korea LCK, LCK Challengers, and other official LOL Esports leagues in other regions. Cleet was first accused of sexual harassment by two women in June 2023, when a Twitter now known as ex-user named Seoyeon posted several explicit DMs publicly. Several messages in the now-deleted post were explicit, with the player allegedly describing his arousal, insulting Seoyeon and expressing intent to grope her. In the hours that followed, Seoyeon also uploaded Kakao top a Korean messaging app screenshots and selfies she claims the player sent her. The now-deleted Twitter user claims that she reported this to Hanwha Life Esports. Requesting for compensation for the mental damage Cleet did to her, but the police were allegedly ignored. As a result of Seoyeon's now-deleted tweet, another user identified as Eric underscore came out with charges against Cleet saying that he had sent her sexually explicit texts while she was still a minor in 2022. The now-deleted post showed that Cleet allegedly wanted to meet up with her and send her inappropriate messages. Although the users involved and the posts are now deleted, the screenshots were forwarded to the LCKA for investigation. The case also came to the attention of the National Assembly culture sports and tourism committee in July, with Lee Dukyang, aide to the official Red Lee sang of the Democratic Party of Korea, addressing the incident. According to his column posted on Naval, the case was problematic in many ways, alleging that Cleet's agency, Shadow Corporation, only defended the player and issued a statement that declared Cleet innocent. On top of that, Cleet's team HLE were also criticized for their actions after the allegations surfaced. Lee slammed the team for refusing to give player interviews after their match against Blas Kia in the LCK, which was customary, as well HLE's public relations personnel and management for refusing media interviews. Not only did they refuse to interview the players, which was customary after the game, but the team front office and the game team's public relations team also refused to be interviewed by the media, a translation of his column rate. HLE also posted a statement about the incident only eight days after the allegations came out. The org said it was taking into account situations in which additional circumstances may arise in this case and at the time, working hard to identify the facts and illegal acts from a position that is as objective and neutral as possible. Since the allegations came out, Cleet missed the rest of the matches HLE had throughout the LCK summer split. He has since been replaced by Joe Grizzly Sanghoon as the team's jungler. According to Navo, the LCK Secretariat decided on July 4 that Cleet was subject to disciplinary action for making sexually explicit comments and improper picture requests to many women through online postings in June. In order to get to the bottom of what happened and why, the LCK Secretariat convened with the LCK Investigation Committee. We checked to see whether there was a breach of LCK rules in this matter they said. After thoroughly examining online posts, player statements, and LCK's own investigation, it was found that some women who reported this have endured harm from the player's inappropriate sexual actions. According to the LCK's investigation, there were instances where it was clear they did not tolerate such behavior and express their refusal. It's important to note that making sexual remarks to a minor female was deemed unacceptable in all cases. Cleet's 12-month suspension came as a result of the severity of the situation. In Lee Dukyang's column on Naval, he also mentioned that in the LCK penalty index, 
There's a section called Chapter 9 Code of Conduct that has specific rules about certain behaviours. It indicates that players, coaches, team executives, employees, agents, and others involved with the teams must not engage in any unwanted sexual advances. If something would make a reasonable person feel uncomfortable or offended sexually, it is considered sexual harassment. This includes sexual threats, pressure for sexual acts, or promises of rewards for such acts, which are strictly prohibited. Breaking these rules results in penalties. The first violation can lead to a written warning, a one-month suspension, a ban from LCK and LCKCL, and a fine of up to 10 million won. Repeated offenses carry the same penalties. A third violation may result in a three-month suspension, a ban from LCK and LCKCL, and a fine of up to 30 million won. A fourth violation can lead to a two-year suspension from LCK. Cleet began his esports career in 2016, where he has been a jungler for JD Gaming, which is part of the Chinese League, LOL Professional League LPL. He then transferred to other powerhouse teams, including T1 in 2018, General G in 2019, FunPlus Phoenix FPX of the LPL in 2022, and finally with HLE in late 2022. Honwa Life has yet to comment on the disciplinary action against Clayt and his status with the team. The team finished third in the LCK Summer Playoffs this year, but failed to qualify for Worlds 2023, despite signing 2022 world champions Huang Kinjin Songhoon and Kim Zika Jion Wu, along with 2021 world champion Park Viper Duhayan.